Thursday during Holy Week is called Monday Thursday. Monday is Latin for mandatum, like the word mandate or commandment. On Monday Thursday, Jesus gave the world a new commandment. On Monday Thursday, we remember Jesus washing his disciples' feet before the Last Supper. This year, we will not be able to go to church to wash each other's feet. But if you have a loved one at home, you can do this for each other. In order to celebrate Jesus' feet washing, you will need to gather three items with an adult's help. First, you will need a big basin or bowl to catch the water. Second, you will need a pitcher with water inside to pour the water. And third, you will need some towels. We are going to start with the Bible story from the Gospel of John. Then we can participate in the foot washing. On Thursday, we will celebrate the Last Supper together, and then we will strip your altar. Jesus washes the disciples' feet. Now, before the festival of the Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart from this world and go to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. And during supper, Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands, and that he had come from God and was going to God, got up from the table, took off his outer robe, and tied a towel around himself. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel that was tied around him. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered, You do not know now what I am doing, but later you will understand. Peter said to him, You will never wash my feet. Jesus answered, Unless I wash you, you have no share with me. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Jesus said to him, One who has bathed does not need to wash except for the feet, but is entirely clean. And you are clean, though not all of you. For he knew who was to betray him. For this reason he said, Not all of you are clean. After he had washed their feet, had put on his robe, and had returned to the table, he said to them, Do you know what I have done to you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for that is what I am. So if I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have set you an example, that you also should do as I have done to you. Very truly I tell you, servants are not greater than their master, nor are messengers greater than the one who sent them. If you know these things, you are blessed if you do them. I am not speaking of all of you. I know whom I have chosen, but it is to fulfill the scripture. The one who ate my bread has lifted his heel against me. I tell you this now before it occurs, so that when it does occur, you may believe that I am he. Very truly I tell you, whoever receives one whom I send receives me, and whoever receives me receives him who sent me. Now one of you can gather the towel, the pitcher, with water, and the basin, and as you remember Jesus' words, gently hold your friend's foot with one hand over the basin, and pour the water over your friend's foot with your other hand. Switch feet and do the same with the second foot. Gently dry your friend's foot with the towel. Now switch places and repeat. Jesus said, So if I, your Lord and teacher, 
have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have set you an example, that you also should do as I have done to you. Very truly I tell you, servants are not greater than their master, nor are messengers greater than the one who sent them. You may continue to serve one another by washing each other's feet, just as your parent did to you when you were a baby. We must serve each other over and over and over again. Just as Jesus has done, we must also do. Serve one another.